Tell me if you know this crew right here. Most certainly not, I think. And me neither, I didn't know them. I wasn't familiar with them. Fortunately, I got to know them, thanks to a book which I read. And with that being said, welcome to a new episode of Books and Burpees. Episode number three. And I hope you're doing really, really good, of course, first of all, today. Thank you very much for being here, my friend. Thank you very much. And this is the book I want to speak about today. Endurance. Shackleton, Shackleton's Incredible Voyage. This book is absolutely insane. And I read it. You know, I finished it around two weeks ago and I wanted to uh, do an episode about it. And I spoke about this book in my first... I spoke about this book in my first episode, which I did, of Books and Burpees. And I said to you that I'm reading this book right now at the moment. And in fact, um, I really love to read fiction stories. So good, good stories, fantasy, exciting adventures, this kind of stuff. This is not a fictional story. This is absolutely non-fiction. It really happened. It happened um, at the beginning of the First World War. So in 1914, 1914. And this guy called Shackleton. He had a big, big goal in mind, or big, big objective, to say the least. He wanted to travel with a boat to the Antarctica in order to um, afterwards travel on the Antarctica from one point A, from point A to point B, so from start to finish by foot. Okay, and for that he needed for the crew, and we have twenty-seven men, which actually um, gathered themselves to participate in that, and um, the resonance was incredible. Everybody wanted to do, wanted to go there at the time and this guy he was famous for his adventures he he was a, a strong strong leader i will speak about that in a second and he had no problems finding his crew and in fact what happened is that on the way there the boat so the endurance that is why the title of the, the book the boat got stuck on the ice it got stuck on the freaking ice man and i don't know how you imagine that but for me honestly at this point normally hope would be lost because you need to also keep in mind at this time of the uh, at this time, there was we were nowhere near with the kind of technology we have today, so it was virtually impossible to give away your location. And they were literally stuck on the ice with the boat. And during the first weeks, it was all right. They had the proviant on the boat, they still had food, all of that. And at some point, the ice literally crushed the boat. Okay, so they couldn't really use the boat anymore, so they need to go on the ice. So they were actually living on the ice and kind of trying to survive there pretty much hunting for seals, uh, killing seals, penguins, you know, to eat something. Actually, at one point in the book, they explain how they needed to kill the freaking dogs, which they had with them, because they didn't have enough food anymore. So, honestly, while I was reading that, um, it gave me a big reality check. What people actually already did in this world, and which kind of culture of complaining we have sometimes, and this puts a lot of stuff into perspective. In any case, they start or they continue to travel, and they come, go from place to place, you know, they can't really stay a lot or for a long time anywhere because it's really, it's not um, hospitable where they are. You know, you can't live there, you can't, you can't prosper there as a human or as humans. So with an insane, insane effort, one part of the group takes one of the little boats, which they could rescue from the big boat to travel um, to an island where they hope to meet civilization. So it's the direction of the, uh, um, of uh, oh, I forgot the I forgot the city. I will check for that. In any case, they they travel there, and it's uh, around uh, 500 miles away. They go there by boat, with literally zero food. We're on a, on a small small boat in icy conditions. Towards the end, they didn't really have water anymore. In any case, at the end of the day, every single person of this crew survived. They got saved. And for me, really, I couldn't believe it. I really didn't know how this would finish, so I didn't read the story before. For me, it was absolutely insane to, to read about that. And that was pretty much the plot. And um, here is why I found this book so fascinating and why I loved it. Like I already said, you know, if you put this kind of context or this kind of story into a context of today's work um, structure, let's say, for example, where people are quick to take stuff personal, um, people are quick to get offended, to get t maybe take themselves too seriously sometimes and not really be, you know, solid just in your way to be and you, you take stuff too personal. And I think this happens, you know, you could take uh, you could take trash from your boss and maybe let it come to, to, to you. And why I say that is that in this book, this guy, Shackleton, 
his leadership, I never read about something like that. By the way, his story is made of little diaries, which were, which were, uh, which were held by all the participants. So actually, there's the material how the author could um, write the book. And the leadership by this man is, for me, it's uh, absolutely insane. You know, because imagine at, in this situation as a group to get go absolutely crazy and try to kill each other that would be really really easy to do you know you know because why why would you care you know there's no hope anymore where would you go but what i really liked about this book is in fact the spirit of these men it's absolutely impressive to read about that how they literally they really really stayed positive you know positive okay they had of course their moments of darkness in their mind as you can imagine but they kept this little fire which was somewhere to say okay we will actually go there we will do it and for me um, to read that it was really really it did something to me while i was reading it it was amazing man i, had goose, I literally had goosebumps sometimes when i was reading it and it showed to me that um, you can do anything you know the human being is pos is capable of incredible stuff if you believe in it and if you actually want to do it i think they had a lot of fortune a lot of uh, lucky circumstances which came together in order to actually get saved of course you need to have that how how uh, how if not that you would uh, survive something like this but what they had above all was this leadership and this belief in the group this belief in the community there was absolutely there was rarely somebody who really questioned the whole the whole um, um the whole group the whole crew and nobody tried to plant the seeds of negativity or well, not really negativity but the seeds of doubt the seeds of uh, of despair not at all and for me that was absolutely my biggest takeaway um, of this book to be honest also what i really like is how uh, the author took away some parts from the diaries of the members where they described how they were playing cards they were um, reading to themselves the same freaking books every single evening because there was nothing to do you know, at some point there was also no work to do anymore because they killed all the seals uh, which were available. They uh, they did the fire. They they built uh, their little cabins. So what else? Did it, what else is there to do? You need to find something to not become crazy, and they did that. And I found that really cool because it shows that sometimes the simple stuff, um, the simple activities, can bring you so much joy. And I think it's also in our daily life like that sometimes. But especially in this kind of situation, imagine what else would you like to do. You know, there's not so much. So what you have, you need to be able to appreciate it. And they really did. And I really like to read about that. So for me, honestly, this book is absolutely insane. The um, document of, of leadership, of adventure. Above all, it's really a freaking adventure. And it's written so, so well. When you read this book, you have the feeling you read a, a, like a uh, like a freaking fiction novel. It's really written like that, but it's not a fictional story, once again. So first last book seriously um so that was my little talk about that check it out of course if you're interested in this kind of stuff and these kind of stories um in fact right now i'm reading um i started to read the book which chris shawama recommended and i just started reading it i also noted the books with the uh, which the other members recommended just uh, i think yesterday or two days ago yesterday um, Eric, he did a live stream where he had a little books and burpees uh, episode himself. He spoke about some books, so that is amazing too. And yeah, I'm looking forward to bring regular episodes of this right now. So now I would like to um, fix a certain date. I will put in the description where I upload every month one episode, you know, like that. It doesn't get lost and we have a certain um, date to, to fix ourselves or no, more me with doing these videos. So thank you very much um, for watching, of course. Feel free to check out the book, like I said. Um, maybe you already read it. If there's somebody already read it and watched this video, let me know what you, how you liked it, what you liked about it. And um, yeah, thank you very much. And I hope to see you in the next video, whatever it will be. Thank you. Until then.